Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? I'm Helen from Georgia, y'all. I'm out here in my yard thinking about trying to do something. <laughs> I haven't really completely decided yet, but I do have us some coffee, y'all. This is my cup. It's got my mother's picture on it. Is that not beautiful? She was so beautiful. And a butterfly. This this is a gift that I was sent. I love it. It is so pretty. Thank you. Uh, and I have y'all one look. I got y'all a, a cup. Uh, y'all, I don't have any blooming flowers anywhere ex except some pansies over here that I had all winter and they're not suitable to put in a vase or nothing so I just decided to put this this vine out here this vine y'all is a flower that was sent to my son that passed away in 19 I mean 2003 and I've had it all these years <laughs> and it's still growing it's still doing good it's still in the same pot it was in and it's still growing I have it in my son room back there that uh, so I don't, I don't take it out and put it outside because I don't want anything to happen to it. And I have some more. I have three or four flowers that were sent to him. Passed away in 2000, February the 3rd, 2003. And I, I've had them all these years and I, I can't let nothing happen to them, you know. I mean, they're there's a meaning behind the, this flowers that I can't let anything happen to it. I don't know what will happen when I'm not here any longer. But <laughs> I'm going to take care of it as long as I am here. And I, I, I just want to keep it as long as I can. Uh, Y'all, there are not any birds out here. I went around in the backyard uh, just a little while ago to get the hose and put some water in the uh, bird baths and stuff. There was a hawk down on the ground back there. And, and I came on around here and he flew over. And my birds know he's around. So they're not coming out. They're not... Uh, and I'm out here too. They they don't like for me to be this close. They will go back there and eat, but they don't they don't come up here real close and and eat when I'm out here. They they a little shy. <laughs> I feed them and all, but they uh they still are not that uh used to me that they'll let me sit here and they come up and eat. They, they won't do it. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching my video. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm so blessed that y'all care and watch. I don't know what what it is, but it seems like my, my, my viewers and all that stuff are going down and kind of depressing a little bit you know but that's the what that's life everything's not gonna go good all the time I know that and I'm not gonna worry about it I, I I'm gonna do what I do and, and that's you know I can't make people watch them and I can't make people like them and and it may be something that I'm putting out there they don't like I don't know what it is but I'm telling you, y'all, it's hard times and it's bad times and and people are very unsettled and unassured of things and 
but I do watch YouTube and I watch people doing stuff that's entertaining to me. Uh, let me have some coffee. I saw a butterfly today, y'all. Come flying right by here. When I'm sitting in my house, my, my front door is right there. It's solid glass up from the top to the bottom. I see everything out here. My birds, my out there, my chimes, all that. I can see from my where I sit on my couch and do my computer stuff and all. I, I, I sit right where I can I love to see, I love to be out here, but it's the next best thing to being out here is to be and able to see out here. Oh, y'all, I saw a hummingbird, too. I have a feeder up there somewhere. I don't know where, but I have a feeder up there. Oh, let me, let me ask Siri what temperature it is, y'all. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Uh, what is the temperature today? The high temperature for today will be 77 degrees, and the low will be 54. Thank you, Siri. Oh, did y'all hear that? 77 degrees, and it's not cold, and, and the wind's not blowing. And, but y'all, it has been off and on cloudy all day, like it would be dark clouds all over, and then they would blow over, and then the blue skies and puffy white. You might can see them back there. No, I guess you can't from where you are, you are. but it's beautiful, and they're moving that way. <laughs> I don't, I mean, that's, that's, they're going that way. That's, that's the good, when, when it's normal, I see that hawk flying right yonder in them trees. I want him to go on in the woods and find something wild <laughs> to eat. <laughs> I saw bluebirds out there in the houses, and and it's it's they're here. They. One of the other videos I did, they was out there flying around, scouting around, trying to find them a, a place to have a nest. And then, you know, they've been coming and going slowly and all, but I have three, four, five. <laughs> but bluebirds don't like every nest. They have their likes and dislikes on birdhouses so uh i i'm i'm gonna i had some old birdhouses oh there went a hummingbird i had some old birdhouses i had taken down because the paint had got bad on them and and i i i just didn't I had took them down. They they looked bad, so I took them down. Well, I came out here this morning, and I got my paint, and I painted my little bird houses, and I done a little work on them. They were some that needed a top and a bottom and stuff, and I sawed and cut and uh, fixed the bird houses where they would be usable. And they liked these birdhouses when I when I had them out, but they got real bad, and so I took them down. And let me let me show y'all one that I that I worked on this morning. This is one that. My son built a long time ago, and I kept it a long time out, and and I took it down. I don't I don't know why. I I think it was coming apart, and some, it looked bad, and so I took it down. Oh, I see a. Oh, I see a bluebird out there right now. Ooh, <laughs> let me turn it around. 
Oh, where'd he go? He flew. They don't like for me to do nothing. He might have went in that house. Anyway. One was on the my new bird house that I made with all the moss and stuff on it. And then they've been going in and out over there. So I I got this one out and it's got a door. And you can clean it out and you can close it up and it's got a little thing right here that you mash across there and it closes it up. They like certain bird houses. Uh, I think they just like plain little bird houses. Oh, I, I just saw a, sh oh, that's a red bird. Red birds don't build a nest in, in the houses. They, they uh, go build a nest somewhere in the bushes. They, they go in real thick bushes and build their house. But anyway, this is one of my bird houses. I'm going to put it up in a few minutes and let y'all see. Uh, cause I got to get some more out there. I got more bluebirds than I got houses. So, <laughs> I went out, these are still good. I mean, they, they are, they just look bad because they needed painting and, and they needed cleaning out and all that, you know. So, I, I done that. Y'all, I've been so undecided on what, what to do for a project. I, I think people's tired of everything. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I mean, it, it's been a bad, it hasn't been a cold winter, but it's been a winter that was unpredictable. Like last Sunday night, it predicted it was going to get down to 28 or something. Other, uh, it was 20 something. Well, y'all, I had done put all my flowers outside, kind of in the shade, because if you have flowers in the house, like all winter, and you put them outside in the direct sun, that sun will cook the leaves and kill it, most likely. So I had to go in the house go in there and get my place ready for them to bring my flowers back inside because it was going to freeze. I had bought some tomatoes, some bell pepper, and I had put them out here like I did last year, two of them right over here, and uh, a tomato right over there in, in on the other side of my carport. And and back there in the back, I had I bought a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Well, I covered them up 
and I forgot the one back there and it got hurt and my little tomato over there on that other side I covered it up but I didn't it was it was night when I came out here and my porch light is not on it's it's way up there and I'm afraid to climb up there with with the ladder I'm gonna get Cody the next time he comes over here if I can think about it to see if he can change my light bulb and my carport light wasn't wasn't on and not working so I came out here and I throwed some stuff old, old blankets over and I throwed some towels over that tomato over there and evidently I didn't get it covered up it good as I needed to so when I came out there on I think it was on Monday or Tuesday Monday I guess I don't know the leaves were it got hurt some air from that ice cold weather went in there somehow I don't I didn't know I didn't have it covered up I, but I couldn't see I couldn't see out there what I was doing it was night when I went out there and y'all know, my pear trees, my apple trees, my plum trees, my blueberries, my uh, yeah, my Japanese magnolia, all the blooms are gone. Nothing out here blooming. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Y'all, I, I can always find some flowers, rake and scrape some up from somewhere. But that coal really it doesn't hurt pansies i've had pansies that was froze solid like oh there's that hawk Woo! go away he's he's just flying around he he knows there's another one two of them oh my goodness anyway I forget what I'm telling. I forgot what I was saying, y'all. I get my mind on what I'm doing and then I get it on something else and then I... But anyway, everything, everything that, that I had blooming, I don't know if that apple tree will bloom again. I don't really know if all the apples that are on it will fall off. I just, and I have a peach tree around there too that's blooming. But I'm pretty sure all that has is, is got hurt. Pe uh, pecan trees are not blooming yet. And the blueberries are not fully bloomed, but... I hope they're not hurt too bad. I, but y'all know this weather is so unpredictable. You don't know what to do. You don't know. The wind blows, rains out of nowhere. And you try to plan a project and how to, what to do and when to do. And, but that that's life and and. That's how it is, you know. You can't predict how it's going to be. You just have to go on out and start something if you if you want to do it and try to finish it. Just go ahead and, and start on it. And, oh, the clouds are so pretty, y'all. Y'all, I was telling y'all something, and my camera cut off. I, d I don't know where it ended or whatever, but anyway, I was, I was telling y'all about my all the stuff that was frozen and uh, killed and But y'all know what the Bible says. You won't be able to tell one season from the next. So uh, 
I see that happening to, in, in my opinion. Uh, that might not be anyone else's opinion, but that's my opinion. And and y'all, time, the time is going to stay the way it is now. It'll be next year, but it won't change again. It won't, uh, it will stay like, like, like the hours is now. I'm so glad. I, my sleeping, everything got mixed up when, when they changed the time. I, I was just all going to sleep at the different hour and waking up all hours and get, it's just un, un, unnerving, un, un, unsettling to my body is old and it's used to stuff and and it can't get used to this time by the time i sort of get used to it it changes again so i'm so thankful that it's gonna stay like it is because i like this time and i don't want it to change anymore i have a clock up there in there up above the fireplace is way up at the top it's a it's a big old it's a clock like this and i had to climb up on a bench get way up there and take that thing down and it's not easy to turn the hands you have to do it with your fingers a little wheel and you have to kind of make it go around till it gets to the right time I'm always afraid I'm going to fall off of that thing. I've never fell off, but I could, you know. I, I just don't like to climb up there if I can help it. So if the time stays like it is now and don't change anymore, I won't have to. <laughs> and you clock in your car, you have to mash buttons and you have to change all that stuff. And I don't, I like <laughs> I like for stuff to stay the same. I don't. I don't like all this changing and changing. I can't even keep up with everything changing, and then, and then it changes again, and then I'm still behind on my what I'm supposed to be doing and thinking and all this stuff. Good gracious, I can't keep up with it all. It just it it goes so fast. I hope <laughs> I hope y'all are better than me about handling that kind of stuff. But, uh, I'm okay. I, I'm fine. I I don't like changes, and I don't like that. But you know, you have to do what you have to do. And I hear my birds back in the wood. They are hiding. They are hiding. I took a picture of my hummingbirds. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you show y'all this whenever whenever I put this on YouTube. I'll I'll, I'll put those. I, I videoed the hummingbirds, and so I'm gonna show y'all that. And and my birds out there, they were oh they are so pretty. Bluebirds are. I love red birds. And they are beautiful. But red birds are very, very aggressive. They are not aggressive to me. They're aggressive to each other and other birds. They don't like another bird eating where they're eating. They don't. They fly together and they fight and all. Blue birds are gentle. Beautiful, gentle birds that just are so beautiful, and they they stay to their self. They don't come up here and eat seeds. They don't eat bird seeds. They eat insects. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I have some old meal in there. I'm gonna try to uh, mix it up and sit it out in the sun. And let it get, they call them mealworms. They, they're little worms that hatch out whenever you let meal sour. 
and they, and they have little worms. I'm going to try to grow some worms for them because it will not be long before they have babies. And, and, and they, when they have babies, then they go right back to looking again and trying to get a nest going. And I took all that stuff out of the nest they don't like. I think they will use an old nest. No, they don't. They will build their own nest. I I went out there. There's a there was a a nest in there, and I I went out there and opened opened the door and looked in. They built a nest on top of that nest, that old nest that someone else had, another bird, another blue bird had made a nest. But they don't use other people's nest. They make their own every time. You don't, so you should clean it out because they make their own nest. They they don't say, oh boy, here's a good uh, nest already. I'll just put me a, uh, lay me an egg in this nest and I won't have to go to all that trouble. They will build another nest over another uh, bluebird nest that's in there. Uh, you know, they, they, they won't, they do what, they want to do and they want a, a new nest of their own and and I think that's good that they don't just fly up there and use somebody else's nest they 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 want their own nest the way they want it and they go right back and my same bluebirds come come back out there to those boxes every year cuz I can I can't see them when I'm sitting down in there but when I walk to the door I can I can see them, they flying all, and I have got them out there flying into the bird bath, taking a bath. When they, when they come out of the nest, little baby birds, they want to go take a bath. They go out there to my uh, bird bath, they all get in it, and they fluff around, and they, uh, they want a bath. I guess all that, <laughs> I don't know why they do that, but they do. I've noticed that they do that every time. They all come out and and they go, all of them together, get in a bird bath and they fluffing and with, their wings just splashing. It is the prettiest sight you've ever seen in your life. It's just awesome nature, how beautiful it is. And, uh, the sky is so blue and the clouds are so my little Charlotte came this weekend oh she is so precious I could just uh, oh I love her so much she is so sweet and she loves her daddy and she loves her mama she she looks to see where they both are. I mean, she's not going to let neither one of them get out of her sight too much, but she looks around, and she has learned <laughs> that, that she can squeal. <laughs> she squealed, and she squealed. <laughs> it is absolutely just ridiculous how silly you get, or I get, over her. Oh, she's so, and she's got little eyes that just look at you. She'll cut them little eyes around all over everywhere. She don't miss nothing and loves her daddy. Oh, good gracious. She's so happy sitting in his lap. He put her, he put her in there, and he put his her legs down there, and he put his leg up there to kind of hold her. And I went over there to get her. <laughs> I didn't know he had his leg over. <laughs> she is, she is gonna have some teeth pretty soon. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's gonna have, she's gonna have some teeth because she's chewing everything. And I've got to get some stuff for her to chew on because I don't have. I had, I had a little music box in there, and I. She loves music. Oh, she loves it. Cody and Dana play it for her on TV, and she loves it and jumps and ju she just 
I, I don't think I ever had one that done like that. They liked music. They liked music, but they didn't never do that when they were little like her. She is going to really be a music lover, I'm afraid, or dancer or whatever. I don't know, but I mean, it's just awesome to see Cody happy and Dana and, and her. It's, it's just such a blessing to see people have children and love them and take care of them and they are so blessed to have them because you know a lot of people don't have healthy babies and uh, but we are blessed to have her and she is so sweet <laughs> but I don't get to see her that much but Cody works way in, in Vidalia, way down from his house. He has a long drive to work and a long drive back home. And he has to get up real early to go to work. And, you know, it's tough being young people that's starting out. And But what a blessing that they have found each other and they, they have such a wonderful relationship and have such a wonderful little baby uh, it's a blessing and it makes you feel good to see and she looks just like her daddy and her granddaddy she she don't she don't know how much I showed a picture on our live of her granddaddy when he was a baby and he he looked just like her he had black hair and he had little face shape and everything like hers it was awesome oh there's a red bird back there I love red birds let me turn it off and carry it out there and set it up I won't take long I don't think maybe Let's go that way. <laughs> I'll turn it off till I get.
Hey everybody. <laughs> Y'all, I'm I'm going to uh, put up another birdhouse on the end of, of these birdhouses that I fixed. When I was putting them up, y'all didn't see good. I hate that. I, I'm sorry that that it the camera didn't do right. But anyway, that's my bird houses, and I'm gonna put up another one right here. I hope y'all can see good. Thank y'all for watching me. I'm gonna put my gloves on because I'm gonna be digging a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it over here closer to what I'm doing. Okay. I'm digging a hole for this pole. I didn't show y'all this post. Let me let me show y'all. I went back there behind my little shelter back there and found this. And I wanted another one because I got one more uh, birdhouse. And I, I wanted to put it up out here. The bird is already out here trying to see about it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the ground. I hope. I hope y'all can see.
Okay. <laughs> I got it in there. Let me let me get my birdhouse. I don't like it. It's got to be higher. Good gracious. The nail came out. Oh, here it is. Good gracious. I think the pole needs to be over a little further. Oh. I'm going to have to dig it back up. See if that's going to be right before I cover it back up. <laughs> oh. Let me look at it. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to cover it back up. That's good, ain't it? <laughs> Let me pack it down a little bit. Okay, y'all. I'm, I'm finished with my bird houses, putting them up, painting them. I didn't let y'all see that because it was, I, I don't know. I, I just came out and I just started painting them and I spray paint, I spray painted them and, and they like white bird houses. Uh, my birds do. I don't know if anybody else's birds, they might like any. And I saw one bird on that one. But I didn't see him go in it, but I guess maybe he will. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm finished putting them up. I had to dig a hole and put up another one over here because I had one left that I didn't ever, I didn't have a place for it. So I dug a hole. And I put a post up there, and I put the birdhouse on it. And I think my bluebirds will love this this uh, bluebird houses, all of them. Uh, they may not be that many bluebirds come here, but on and off, there are a lot of them that come to my birdhouses. They uh, they like it here, and they like this place. I, I have I've had birdhouses. I have one back there. They don't like that one. I had one out there on that tree. They didn't like that one. I had one up there. They did like that one. Uh, they they did like it, but I put a different one up there, so I don't know if they'll like it or not. <laughs> you know, they have birds and people have their own mind. They they uh, like what they like, and they. <laughs> And, and and if they don't like it, they won't go in it. So I do know they like my little white birdhouses. And they like this spot for some reason. I've had them all over, but they like this spot. For, I don't know if it's because it's out in the open or I don't know what it is. But whatever they like, I try to please them. And and I'm I'm uh I'm thankful that I got through with it and I know it wasn't a great video. I know I didn't let you I my camera wasn't right when I was putting these other ones up. I'm sorry y'all. I can't keep it I can't sometimes my camera gets the looking somewhere that I don't know where it's looking. <laughs> I can I, I mean, I think I have it fixed where it, it's where I want it. Then I go in the house and look at the video, and it's it's not the way I thought it was going to be. So, but I, it's a beautiful, I don't know if that's a, a dove or, I think it's a dove. I'm not sure. But it's something. It's a bird. He's not saying nothing. I don't know if it's a hawk or not. But anyway, I've got all kind of birds. They love my uh, my place here. They they like 
they like this open place and they like over there where I do my videos because that little I don't know where that bird is but I see a shadow going all over the place uh, they like that bush because that's where I feed them and they can hide up in that bush where where uh, hawks can't get them I hope I have seen a hawk go in a bush and get some babies that was in an, uh, had some babies over here and they flew out and they got on top of the house and they flew over there and they got in that thick bush over there and a hawk, it was two little babies, and a hawk flew in that bush, fluttering and shaking and all that. He got both of them little baby birds and took off with them. Broke my heart, broke my heart, because I looked at them every day. <laughs> I looked at them little birds every day. But that's nature, and nature does what nature does, and, and you can't too much change it. You, you, you have to just kind of go along with what they like. You can't change nature. They, they, uh, these bluebirds don't eat my sunflower seeds. They, they eat worms and insects and stuff. And, and I've never, ever, ever seen a bluebird up there eating any, any sunflower seeds. Never, never seen that. So they don't, they don't eat that. They eat mosquitoes and any kind of little thing that uh, an insect, they, they get it and eat it. And then they, they have babies, they feed them, feed them the, the babies in the, in the birdhouse, they bring it to them and put it in their mouth. <laughs> so cute, you can look out the door and see the little head sticking out and it won't be long before they be flew off and start a, another cycle of birds and I'm so thankful for all my uh, things that I have here that the birds love and I love. Uh, I don't know uh, just, it's just a good, I, I, I've i had these birds a long time, you know, and I know they've come and gone. Some has got killed and eat by hawks and all that. And I'm not sure yet about my, my fruit trees, about pear trees, apple trees, plum trees, peach trees, blueberry bushes, my, all my flowering things got cold. It, it got like 20, eight degrees or 21 or I don't remember what it was but it got it froze everything so we're gonna see what happens there but anyway y'all thank you so much for subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell uh, you you go to subscribe and you click on subscribe and some people can't do that because they just watching it on TV but if you have a phone or you know a computer or something you you know you go over to uh, uh, subscribe and click the bell and it'll say all and you click all because that lets you see all the videos it sends a notification when I make one and you'll know that I've made one you can come look at it if you want to <laughs> I know it's not all that but and I've got to get my second wind going it's uh, I put one about my frogs and all my stuff that's so beautiful and frogs at night and all that I, I'm just I'm just so blessed I love all that I, and I know I know some of y'all people are like me, old, older, and are home and, and don't get to get out much and uh, can see things that go on in my town, Georgia, Dublin, Georgia, and it's so peaceful and quiet and, and the clouds, the blue skies. I hope y'all enjoy my I, sometimes I do a project in, of cement, and sometimes I do different things. I just do whatever uh, I think about and that I think y'all might like. 
And if y'all don't like it, you watch another channel or whatever you want to watch that is more entertaining than I am. I know I'm not much. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not uh, technical at all. And, and I'm trying to get everything together and trying to, I try to make it where y'all enjoy watching it and seeing just simple things, simple, simple things in life is what makes me happy it's not big things it's not uh nothing that nobody really you you do things that people notice people notice look i do i notice little things people do and say that, that you know that you that means a lot that uh that you don't have to say or you don't have to do but you do it and it's a blessing and y'all are a blessing to me and my life because I'm, I, I'm just happy and thanking the Lord for all that he's given me and all the time he's let me be here on earth enjoying all this stuff. You know, it's nothing fancy, and I'm not a fancy person. <laughs> I'm just plain, plain person that that is proud to be have a YouTube channel and have all the people that love me and, and I love them. They are my YouTube family and I, I claim y'all. <laughs> and I know y'all do too, some of you. And y'all, I want to thank y'all again for watching me and subscribing and share it to your friends or people that you think might enjoy it. I, I uh, took my phone out to uh, where I bought my phone, uh, a, a place where internet stuff, and I had to buy, get some more data. My, the other day when I was doing a video, uh, Cody and uh, his family was here, and Cody noticed a, a notification that that I was over on my data and they was charging me a lot for overusing my allowed data. So I didn't even, I wouldn't have even known it if he hadn't seen it. But he told me, Mom, Grandma, you need to go out there and get you some, uh, get unlimited data. That means you can do what you want to and you won't go over because there's no going over. You can just do as long as you want to and it won't go over. So. I, I decided I would go out there and do that because I didn't, and, and then my, uh, uh, my uh, video got blurry because it was, I, I don't really understand that, but anyway, it got blurry, and I went out there, and I, and I told that young man that, that I wanted some more data and that what was happening, and I told him that I had a video channel and, and that I was videoing live stream some and I needed some more data and he said, oh, you do have a, a, a YouTube channel? I said, yes. He said, you, you have a YouTube channel? I said, yes, I do. And he said, oh, that's great. What is the name? And I told him, he, he opened up his phone. He said, I'm subscribing right now. And I'm going to get my co-worker right over there to subscribe to you, too. So, wasn't that sweet? And how awesome. That nice young man, he was so nice. I, I thank him very much for being so kind and so patient. <laughs> and, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's really life to me, is being kind to people and being patient with them when they don't understand everything, you know, how, yeah, some people don't know how it is that way because they're not old and they they was raised with internet and phones and all kind of stuff. I wasn't. I, I had to learn all that stuff after I got grown and way on up, yo, well not way on up, just four or five years ago. I, I've never had a YouTube and phones and all that. I had to learn how to use a smartphone and, and it was smarter than me. <laughs> I was calling people. <laughs> I was mashing buttons and I was calling people. 
Lord, I didn't know what I was doing, but Lord, thank the Lord I, I did get through that, and I sort of know a little bit about what I'm doing now, but not a whole lot, but uh, Cody has to help me some when he's here to keep me straight and keep me going right, and I hear an airplane. There's an airport on the other side of Dublin over there. I guess that might be going to the airport. I don't know. But anyway, y'all be, be extra kind to people. And older people. They're, some of them are very sensitive and they, they harshness, you know, cuts their heart. <laughs> uh, really worse than somebody just hitting you uh, a heartbreak is hard, hard, very hard to deal with whenever people don't have patience and people uh, don't think how they see things and stuff. But I always try to be kind and nice and gentle with people because I know how it is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm so blessed. And, and y'all are blessed, too, if you're still here and you have pretty good health. Even if your health is not good, you, you're still here and you're enjoying some things in life that the Lord has let you enjoy. And I'm so thankful for each and every single one. And I want to tell y'all, I'll see y'all. Let me have a sip of coffee. I haven't sipped my coffee yet. <laughs> It's my mama's picture right there. I want to tell y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video, whenever that is, that I get this put on there. And that's a kind of a strenuous thing that takes a little while to do it. And my time is just so used up. So sometimes I, I don't have enough of it. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. And y'all, y'all keep watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.